We heard that a hurricane was coming. I didn't know how large it was at the time. We never really expect the storm was, would have been the way it was. For me, I thought we weren't going to get that much damage. As long as everything is in the plastic bags, it would have been great. We bowed up the house. We get some food inside of the house and some water. We were prepared for all what to come in terms of what we were humanly possibly could have done. But we had nothing to combat the magnitude of um, Hurricane Orma. When the hurricane come, it was a different thing. The roof was caving in on you, and what is caving in on it was just blowing away. It was just, and you just seeing sands just in circles around you. After that, they go on and said, another hurricane is on its way to Barbuda. Jose, that was on the very part of Orma. So we can't stay in because house roof gone, house gone, water in the house. So we have to evacuate. The water will be contaminated. Uh, there's going to be, after certain all the animals that die and swarm, they would cause some level of um, disease and so on. So it was best practice, I believe, at that time to remove um, everybody off island. It had a psychosocial impact on our children here because it changed their normalcy, it changed their comfort zone. The programs we've been having here with UNICEF and other organizations has been very helpful because they not only came and talked but they interacted and they gave us new options and different alternatives of how we can be better prepared psychologically.